it's Simlies, it's Deligracy here and welcome to part 6 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Scream Sorority. Uh, we've just, uh, I guess we're just focusing on Nadia right now because in the last part we did have a death. Uh, so make sure you guys go watch that part before this part, otherwise you're going to get some spoilers. Uh, but you guys loved the last part, I loved the comments on it and a few of you guys were a little bit confused as to why the UI... Uh, or the bottom bar of the screen was cut off and that is deliberate. I'm going to have to cut off certain things in the LP uh, to cover up some of what I'm actually doing in the game because obviously to make this LP work, uh, I can't actually show you guys the entire UI all the time. So if you see that, it's deliberate. Um, but I'm loving looking at your guesses as well. They're very interesting. Okay, it looks like Nadia has just received the very sad phone call that her boyfriend Chad has died. Chad was her boyfriend, so she's going to be very upset about this, uh, that he has died. Even though she's pretty shallow with who she dates, she's going to be pretty devastated. So what we might do is we're going to go get her to do one thing that I personally think is best when you're feeling upset. We are going to get her to eat her feelings by going to the fridge and just getting a few packets of chips and just to make herself feel better. And I also think that we are going to miss some work as well. Uh, poor Romy, I guess the other girls will find out over time, but Romy, I guess Taj will tell Romy. Does she look concerned? Do we think she knows yet? I don't know, maybe she does know. <laughs> um, but anyways, where is Nadia? Are you gonna just eat a bowl of chips? And Ecclesley, oh my God, girl, you need to cover up that Tommy stat. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We need to change that stomach. Okay, let's just plan outfits. Oof. It's just a little bit obvious that she is knocked up. Um, so yeah. She's just eating those chippies and hopefully she'll feel better soon. Oh my gosh, she's already feeling better. How is that just from a cheerful environment? Nice one. Uh, but we might actually get her to go upstairs as well. And uh, you know, another thing that makes her feel better is probably looking in the mirror. So we'll get her to go upstairs. Ooh, but we need to somehow disguise Ecclesley first. And for those of you who are confused as to why I call it Ecclesley and oh my god, that's so weird. She looks normal and now she looks preggers. Normal, preggers. Oh god. Um, if you're confused why I sometimes call her Ecclesley and sometimes call her Elkie, it's because originally her name was Ecclesley but she changed it to try and get into the sorority. So we've just got to change up her clothes to make it less obvious that she is in fact uh, pregnant. So I don't know what to do. Problem is she's so skinny. Oh god. We could just get her to put on weight I suppose. We could give, she could get breast implants. I guess she'd blame it on breast implants as well. Like she'd be like, oh, my boobs are getting bigger just because I went and got some work done. Maybe she'd say that. Oh, they're all obvious. Oh my gosh. Girl, what are we gonna do? Like, I don't, I do not know which one to use. We could put her in a night suit. Oh my gosh, let's put her in the bear suit. Does she own one of those already? Who knows? Why is all the outfits so figure hugging? <laughs> can't you wear something super baggy that you can't tell and a thing is going on underneath? Maybe a blazer. Okay, the best I can do is put her in baggy t-shirts with skirts. I mean, it's okay. Maybe the girls would just think, oh, Elkie's stacked on a little bit. I don't know. So we're just giving her big jumpers big t-shirts and she is not going to be allowed to get into her bathers. I mean, she doesn't look that bad, does she? Well, except for when she starts clutching her stomach. Maybe uh, <laughs> what we should do is maybe uh, Desiree should be like, hey, do you want to maybe um, go to the gym? <laughs> you know, work out a bit. <laughs> oh, Desiree. Desiree is really into health and wellness. Uh, she has been since my last LP that she was in, and I just feel like she'd be into that. Where are you, honey bonnies? Oh my gosh, she's just been stuffing herself with food. 
That's fine. That's absolutely fine. But I think you should go upstairs, Nadia. I just have a feeling that if you go upstairs, you might find something that will make you feel a lot better. So let's maybe just freshen up in the mirror. She's probably feeling like, oh, I've just eaten so much. What happens if I'm getting fat? You know, she might uh, be a little bit worried about that and looking in the mirror because she is very insecure, even though that's ridiculous because after one meal, it's not like you're gonna instantly put on weight. Um, but anyway, she's just checking herself out and, uh, oh, oh, hold on a second. What is that? What is that? I feel like someone has left Nadia a special gift, which has come at a very convenient time, I might add. Because, you know, she uh, she is feeling like she wants to binge a little bit at the moment, and now she has her own cupcake machine, she can eat as many cupcakes as she likes. But the question is, why would someone give her a cupcake machine? Who would have given her the cupcake machine and... You know, I don't know, what do you guys think? Comment in the description down below. But I do love this cupcake machine. I think it's really cool. Uh, so we're just gonna get her to eat some of those freshly baked cupcakes. Oh, look at that. She's got a whole plate to herself. I love it. I feel like Elkie's eating the cupcakes as well because she wants to uh, cover up for why she has a pregnant tummy. She probably thinks if Nadia sees her eating a little bit more, um, she'll feel better about that. But Nadia does not want her to eat her cupcakes. She'll be like, Elkie, you already have a pretty big gut on you. I would not be eating those cupcakes. <laughs> oh, Peach is here. Uh, okay, so let's just get Elkie. That's not okay. You need to leave. You have been banished by the queen herself. All right, and we, we shall continue to eat our cupcakes. Oh my gosh, she's literally eating herself to sleep. Wow, girl, wow. How about we swap to another character for a little while? I think Desiree is in a great mood, so what we might do is get Desiree to go catch up with Heidi, her crush. Um, so we might go catch up with her at the gym. I feel like Desiree and Romy gets along pretty well. Oh, there goes Nadia again, eating those cupcakes. Damn, Nadia, look at those cupcakes. She's gonna keep eating them. Uh, so, Romy's in a pretty good mood. Is Paige in a good mood? Mm, she could be better. We might just get her to use the toilet and go to bed. Valentina, she's not in the best mood either. Elkie, yeah, not too great. So we'll just take Romy and Desiree out to the gym maybe and we'll catch up with some of the edgy crew. Okay, so everyone seems to be here at the gym. Uh, Desiree's already getting into that punching bag. Heidi's here. Romy's just a little bit confused. She usually likes to do the old yoga stuff, so she's just hanging back a little bit. And oh my gosh! <gasps> Bradley and Romy! I didn't even get them to do that! Oh my gosh, Bradley. He's probably at the gym working out because he wants to impress Romy and become like better looking. And he, you know what? He's like, I'm going to fight for you, Romy. That Taj man has nothing on me. I feel like Romy would just, I don't know what she would do. I feel like she would freak out and he's just going to leave her up to her own devices. He's like, you have a think about it. Wow. Why can't we do anything on here? Maybe she's te texting Taj. We need to talk. Damn, girl. All right. So meanwhile, uh, Desiree, where is Heidi? I wanna, I wanna talk to Heidi. Slash, is getting up on, uh, on the treadmill. Oh, yoga class is beginning in 30 minutes. Please notify the yoga instructor if you wish to participate. Well, that's probably what uh, Romy is here for. So let's get her to join that energy class. Ash is getting uh, onto that treadmill. And where is Heidi? I really want to get her and Desiree to uh, have a little bit of a chin wag. How are we going with their relationships? Uh, well... Desiree obviously thinks of her very, very fondly. 
they're soulmates apparently, but they're not yet girlfriends. So I'm thinking they have their first kiss. I think she should have a deep conversation with Heidi. Um, I don't know, I really like these two as a couple. I think they're really sweet. Desiree is bi, she'll go either way, but um, yeah, she's definitely into Heidi and oh my God, they're wearing matching. That's so cute. Who's that? Oh, I thought that, oh my God, I thought that was Taj for a second. I was like, that is awkward. Oh, Desiree doing the, doing the flirty talk. Yes, Heidi is self-assured. Maybe we'll discuss DJ techniques and uh, maybe we'll share a secret. We can maybe not, oh, she could invite her to stay the night, but we don't have a double bed, so. Oh my gosh, I really want them to have a first kiss. Tell a joke about Sunset Valley. These two are just so cute together. She's like, I, I have a few secrets to tell you. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I like these two together. For shizzle my nizzle. Where should their first kiss be? I don't... Ooh, this is kind of romantic. Maybe... Maybe Desiree might say, look, oh, damn it. Are we going to take the whole group there? I think we were about to. Let's just get Heidi back. If we chat to her quickly, then we'll be able to, um, I guess, get her just on her own to sit with us. So cute. How's Romy going? Is she doing her class? Oh, she's finished her class. Okay. Oh my gosh. Bradley. He's just showing off to her. He just really wants her attention. Oh, Ash, you're in our, in our romantic spot. Ooh, Bradley and Ash. Why do they have to sit where we want to go? Probably because I told them to. <laughs> Maybe they could have a first kiss in the change rooms. Is it girls only or boys only? Yeah, that's boys. Girls over here. Uh... We'll just go by the pool, maybe. We'll just get them to sit here together. Sit and chat here. <gasps> this is romantic in the pool room. I love this. Although, are they going to be up for sure? Oh, Romy can totally see. But who cares? Romy's nice. Romy won't judge them. She's probably excited for Desiree. Despite her in love life being messed up. I can't believe Bradley was just like, I'm going to get you. You're going to be mine. Side of Bradley I've never seen before. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Maybe she can just give her a little bit of a tickle. Oh, she's pretty tired. And oh my gosh, Bradley, you're ruining the moment. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Tease flirtatiously. And maybe can we confess an attraction? I don't know if she'll be into us. Why can't they move anywhere? I don't understand. No, come back! Alright, we're just gonna go for it. Desiree, be inspired by Bradley's moves. You've just gotta you've just gotta do it. Just have the first kiss. Oh my gosh! I still can't believe they're in matching gym uniforms. That's the cutest thing ever. <gasps> okay. Oh. Heidi, where are you going? It's gonna take us a while to catch up with you if you run away from us like that. Don't leave us, Heidi. Oh, this is so romantic. She's like, wait, wait, Heidi. I, f I need to give you something before you leave. <gasps> oh! oh, it's so cute. We already had a first kiss. Are we going to have our first kiss again? Romance. Maybe just... She should be like, look, I really like you, Heidi, and I want to be with you. But I do know one person who is not going to be happy about this, and that is Nadia. She's not going to be happy at all. 